Become a channel member to gain early access to all 5M scripting videos. Hey guys, it's Alpha, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a 5M server using the Windows vanilla method. So this will create a home hosted server that has absolutely no custom resources. It will only have the default ones, no TX admin, uh, nothing like that. It's just base default Windows vanilla server on your local PC. So first of all, we're going to head to the 5M docs where the guide for setting up a vanilla FX server is located. And the first step is creating a new directory. So what we're going to do is we will just put the guide up on a different screen. So we're going to head to our directory of choice. I'm just going to use my local disk D and in here I'm going to create a folder and I'll call it 5M. Like so. And then we're going to head to the Windows server build listing. And we're going to download the latest recommended. You can do optional or a specific version of choice, but I'm just going to go for the latest recommended. Now that's downloaded, I'm just going to head into my downloads and drag this server compressed file into the 5M directory that we just created. And now I'm going to select that and extract it here. Like so. And then we can delete the server compressed file that we just downloaded. Then we're going to download the CFX server data folder. So this takes you to a GitHub and you can just press on the green button and press download zip. And once again, we're going to open our downloads folder and bring the CFX server data compressed file into our 5M directory. And then what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to take the dash master off the end because that's a GitHub thing. So if it, it's just CFX dash server dash data, and then I'm going to right click this and extract it here as well. Then we can get rid of the compressed file and once again i'll just get rid of the master off the end of the folder name and now we can go into the cfx server data folder and in this directory we're going to press right click go to new and create a text document now you're going to want to have your file name extensions on so you can change it from a txt to a cfg file i'm going to name this server.cfg like so and it will say that the file name extension is going to be changed so you just want to confirm with that then on the guide, if we scroll down, you'll see a server.cfg example. So this in this embedded section is what we're going to want to copy. And then we're going to want to paste this into our server.cfg like so. And in the server.cfg, you'll see it's got all of the default resources, which will start automatically. And then you've got some other settings such as the server name. So I'm going to change that to alphas windows vanilla server and the project name will just be the same as the host name and the project description I can put subscribe to alpha for example then we've got system admins so if you know your 5m ID you can paste that here where the one is and that will make you an admin within the server you've got max clients so if you want to set the maximum amount of players that can join then you can change that but if it's anything above 48 you do need a 5m patreon subscription if you want to use steam authentication or anything like that you do need to set a steam web api key which you can do by following this link just here something we also need to do is change the license key for the server so if we head to this link just here so if i hold control and click it that will open the link and it takes us to the cfx.re keymaster and we can just sign in with our cfx.re account and as you can see on here i've got some previous servers from my previous tutorials but this one is from a vanilla home hosted server that will be on the same ip as my computer right now so what i can do is just press the ip and that will also get me the key which i can copy and we can paste into the server.cfg so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of change me and paste the license key and then we'll save that and then we can go ahead and close the server.cfg and now what we're going to do is we'll go back to our local disk d directory or wherever the same directory is that has your 5m folder and then here we're just going to create a new text document and we'll call this one start server dot bat this is a dot batch file which we're then going to edit and then we're going to want to type cd forward slash d and then we're going to get the directory of our server data folder. So that would be just here. 
and then we will copy that and then we're going to paste that in there like so and then on the next line we're going to paste the same directory but then get rid of the cfx server data and then instead we're going to type fx server dot exe like so with a capital fx and s and then we're going to do space plus exec for execute and then server dot cfg like so and then we're going to save that and now if we run that that will start the server as you can see here it's just running all of the resources and it's just building all of the webpacks for the yarn resource so now all of the resources have started so if i boot up 5m i'll then be able to connect to the server so as you can see here because it's hosted on my own pc just below the play button it will say connect to alfie's desktop on lan or if that's not there for you you can always type f or press f8 and type connect and then put local host and that will connect you to your local server as you can see it's running on a different game version so i need to just update my client to the same version as the server and now it spawned me into the server uh, so this will be a completely base server with no tx admin or anything like that there'll just be no no custom resources it's just completely base server so there'll be nothing like role play related in here uh, and there'll be like no slash cars or, or anything like that no admin so this is really useful if you just want a completely base server to start from with no popular resources in it and you wanted to make your own resources so i'll just close 5m and now we can also close the server just by closing down the console and then this is ready for us to work on if you are following my creating a 5m roleplay server from scratch series and you want everything to be exactly the same as mine then you should use this guide as this is the one that i use in my series obviously if you want tx admin feel free i'm not going to stop you if you want to use zap hosting so your servers up all the time and you want people to start playing on it also do not blame you go for it it's a lot more useful as well especially for things like ddos protection and uptime checking but anyway that is everything for today's video if you enjoyed please leave a like leave a comment of what you'd like to see in the future share it with your friends if you need any support join the 5m support discord in the description we all love to help each other out in there and i will see you in the next one goodbye